Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. Today, Professor Ma will explain why the Federal Reserve raised interest rates to the highest level in 22 years. Yesterday, the 26th of July 2023, the U.S. Federal Reserve raised its benchmark lending rate to the highest level since 2001 to tackle above target inflation, and signaled it could hike again later this year amid improving economic prospects. The increase, after a brief pause in June, brings the Fed's key lending rate to a range between 5.25% and 5.5%. Many people think that the U.S. Federal Reserve is part of the U.S. Government, but they are wrong. The Federal Reserve is as much a part of the U.S. Government as Federal Express. The fact of the matter is, both are not part of the U.S. Government at all. The Federal Reserve essentially consists of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that instrumentalities like the national banks or the Federal Reserve Banks, in which there are private interests, are not departments of the government. They are private corporations in which the government has an interest. The original Federal Reserve Act, which created the Federal Reserve on 23 December 1913, had provided starting capital for the Federal Reserve Banks by requiring the participating commercial banks to purchase stock in a reserve bank in proportion to their assets. This stock pays a dividend out of the reserve bank's earnings. In other words, the participating commercial banks do earn from their shares in the Federal Reserve Banks. Like any other bank, the Federal Reserve Banks earn the most when interest rates are high and inflation is low. At this juncture, some viewers might remark that the Federal Reserve does lower interest rates when the economy is not doing well. Yes, the Federal Reserve does lower interest rates when the economy is not doing well. This is because the Federal Reserve is like a rider on a horse, which is the U.S. economy. It is in the rider's interest to ensure that the horse does not collapse from exhaustion, which is essentially the equivalent of an economic recession. Therefore, the Federal Reserve aims to set interest rates as high as possible without triggering a recession. So why did the Federal Reserve raise interest rates to the highest level in 22 years? The answer is that the Federal Reserve wants to make as much money as possible. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.